lot of hairy moments in there. Thank heaven Grant is as strong as he is. An unbelievable situation. You know, at least we can never complain that working at General Hospital does not give us a wide range of medical experience. It's a good thing you didn't sleep through tropical diseases in med school. Yeah, but all this time, and this is my very first scorpion sting treatment. Imagine. I hope it's my last. You must be exhausted. Why don't you go home and get some rest? And leave you all alone here with all these gorgeous nurses, not on your life. Well, I'm kind of glad, because I want to tell you something. What's the matter, sweetheart? Are you worried about tomorrow? Oh, uh, Am I interrupting? Uh, uh, no, not at all. Come on in. No complications with Grant. Oh, no, no. He is resting comfortably, and Celia is with him. And thrilled to pieces. I <laughs> think we're all thrilled to pieces. So, are you all set for tomorrow? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be. Good. Just wanted to assure you, well, both of you, I have no doubts that it's going to be a very successful operation. Well, it means a lot to hear you say that. You don't have anything to worry about. I mean, we know Cunningham is an excellent surgeon. I have to thank you for all your help. All of it. Well, thank you. I just wish I could have done more. More? You did a lot. We're very grateful to you. And I am very grateful for your friendship. I hope you both know that. We do. I wanted to ask you, Rick, if it would be all right if I observed the surgery tomorrow. All right, of course. I would love for you to observe it. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I know it's probably going to be just a straightforward surgery. No complications whatsoever might be a little dull after what you just went through with Grant. Oh, not me. No, I just hung around if there were any complications. Leslie did all the work. Not so, not so. You were a great big help. In any event, uh, I better get going. See you in the morning. Well, <clears throat> you were saying. About what? You know, just before Monica came in, you said you wanted to tell me. Wesley, I just want to tell you that I love you. I love you so very much. Oh, I love you too, my darling. And I'm so fortunate to have you and the kids. Will you just remember that tomorrow? Because we'll all be right here waiting for you. I hope you realize that after tomorrow, I'm going to be boring you to tears with my uh, surgery scar. But, oh, you can show me your scars anytime. Anytime. Else. Have they started yet? Yes, they're just about to. He's been anesthetized, and surgery is about to begin. So now we have to sweat it out, huh? Well, yeah, we're going to have quite a wait. But I thought maybe right now, as they're about to start surgery, this would be a good time for all of us just quietly to ourselves to say a little prayer. The patient is ready, doctor. Thank you. It's going to be just fine, right? I promise. Let's begin. Stop it. All right, so how long is this going to take? They just started. I, I know, but I mean, like, like what, hours or what? Uh, open heart surgery is always a lengthy procedure. Like three, four hours, right? Oh, anyway, if it's routine. Not that I think they ever consider a heart tumor surgery routine. How long will it be until we know something? Oh, it'll be a long time, baby, but... Dr. Monica Quartermain is in the operating room. She's watching the surgery, and I'm hoping maybe she'll find a little time to sneak out and tell us how it's going. So, I'll bet you everybody here is hungry. We've been up since six, and we haven't had anything to eat, and who's starving, Blackie? I ain't hungry. You're not hungry. Not ain't. How about you, sweet pie? I want to stay here. Uh, Amy. I don't want anything. Gee, I'd, I'd like to get something to eat, and I, nobody's going to go with me, Amy. I'd rather stay here. <clears throat> well, you know it's going to take a long time. I know, but I would still rather stay here. Can I stay with you? You sure can. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll go with you, if that's okay. I'd love it, thank you. 
I tell you what, we'll do it in relays. A Blackie and I'll go now, and then when we get back, you guys can go get something to eat, okay? Exactly. Bye. Okay. Don't you two want to sit down? It's going to be a long morning. Maybe later. Doc Rick's going to be okay, and I bet it won't take long at all. We're all hoping for the very best, Mike. Doc Rick's going to be just fine. He promised me. He did? Yeah, sure. He said he was going to be okay and that he promised he wouldn't die like that. Right. What's the temperature? 25 degrees centigrade. No spread. Plant. We're nearly there, Monica. Yes, I see. Suction. Damn it, I need a dry field. Yes, Doctor. There we are. We should see the culprit in a moment. There it is. Yes, oh, no. Good Lord, it's a ventricular aneurysm. Oh, so it is. This isn't going to make it easy, is it? Uh, Steve, didn't you say that Cunningham was starting at 8? That's a report I got. Well, you see, an hour has gone by already. It seems more like 4. Blackie, um, have you ever looked in on a surgery waiting room? You know what? Well, well it's a lounge where the uh, relatives and friends of the patients wait. I can't tell you how many holes have been worn in that carpet just by their pacing. But Blackie, the time does pass. She's right, Blackie. And when the surgeon finally walks in to announce the good news, nobody bothers about complaining. Nobody. I... Oh. Helen. Hello. Hello. Hi. Uh, pull up a chair, won't you? Thanks. I forgot you would be back today. Yeah. Well, tell me, how was everything in uh, Southampton? Fine. Fine. I hear that Monica's in OR with Rick. Yeah, observing. Cunningham's doing the surgery. See. How's it going? Well, they passed the hour mark. Yeah, well, that's, that's a little too soon to tell us. Mm -hmm. I talked to Rick just before they wheeled him in. He was... He was so pleased that Monica was going to be able to be there. What was Cunningham's last evaluation? Oh, he was confident. He's not real thrilled about the location of the tumor. It's on the atrium. Well, that is a tough area to work in. There's not much field. But uh, they have been successful before. Absolutely. I heard Monica say exactly the same thing. Yeah, I know. She's had a lot of experience with that kind of surgery. That's that's why he was so grateful that she was going to be there. To consult, you mean? Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if Cunningham should need another opinion, he certainly couldn't ask for a better one. Nor a better surgeon with heart tumor experience. I know for a fact that Monica's had some tough ones to deal with. So you're saying this one's going to be worse than usual? No, Blackie, no. Complicated, yes, but you just have to keep thinking that Rick couldn't be in better hands. Believe me, everything's going to be all right. Point that, please. Got it? Both of them. Right. I'm going to draw some blood glasses. Clamp. What do you think? Could we have a feel a little clearer? Suction. I make a suggestion. Lord, yes, what? Well, if you use a heart force, that's number four. You'd be able to get into under a lot easier. Forceps? You have to eat it out just below the juncture, then gently slide in and under. And you should be able to, uh, to feel when you can elevate easily. Like this? Yes, you're doing fine. The hell I am. Do you realize I've only excised one of these monsters once before? Well, believe me, you're doing beautifully, really. You should be able to feel some resistance, do you? Yes. Okay, good. We'll keep going. Everything's under control. Don't worry. It's lifting. That's... that's what's to be expected. Now, if you could lift it up with the heart. Wipe. 